Now, a story that we've been covering from the start to finish uh, is the IRS story. The IRS, in fact, finally admitting to wrongly targeting Tea Party conservative groups. And while our next guest gave an emotional testimony before Congress, before, I'm sorry, after being targeted by the IRS, Becky Carrotson uh, is with us now. Becky, thanks for coming back to the show. Thanks for having me, Charles. You know, you captured the, the hearts of so many Americans with that testimony. Uh, you put a face on something that might have been a headline for others. I think you also put a face on a Tea Party, which at the time had been demonized so, so much by the mainstream media. Is this apology too little, too late? Well, I, I think a couple of things. First of all, I want to say thank you so much to the American Center for Law and Justice as they represented us in this case. And also to Tom Fitton and Judicial Watch, which did, they did great work on uncovering emails with their FOIA requests. We would not have gotten this far without that. Um, it is, for our civil case, we did not have a criminal case. This was a civil case. And this is a huge victory for us. We are very happy with this outcome. Um, the fact that the IRS for years had been denying that they did anything wrong, wanted to settle with us. They have admitted that not only was it inappropriate, but it was also unconstitutional. And what has happened is there has been a complete revamping of the policy within the Department of the um, Tax Exempt Section. So this is a really big message that's going to be sent to the government that targeting is not allowed anymore and will not be tolerated. So, so, so it's you, a huge win. So you really sincerely believe that because, I mean, the, the, you, the IRS is wielded as a weapon by the federal government, uh, of course, pushing back on the, on the rising power of the Tea Party to stop your voice, uh, the, the crux of, of, of American democracy, uh, the ability for the average citizen to go out there and voice their opinion the way the Tea Party did. Are, you don't believe that could ever be done again? Um, well, I believe, no, it, it could always be done. I mean, they, and I'm sure they will try, but part of the consent order is that we will be able to keep a better eye on them and we need to stay vigilant. But if you talk in terms of the criminal aspect of this, um, I would have loved to see Lois Lerner um, in jail. And, but that was not part of our case. We did not have a criminal case. And... I think justice, the law played out with the evidence that we had. This is what we got, and this is as good as it's going to get. And Koskinen also was able to write out his ten tenure as, as well. Uh, the good news is that you're happy, that you, you feel you know, vindicated, and I, and I think that's good for, for the viewers and the American public out there. Uh, what you guys went through was, was certainly painful, and it was shocking that uh, you know, the, the upstart Tea Party would have to be beaten down to the degree that it was. So congratulations, Becky. Well, thank you. And I will just let you know, there were two settlements. There were two different cases that were settled last week, ours with the American Center for Law and Justice, and then the NorCal Tea Party class action suit. And they are the ones that have won several million dollars in damages. So, you know, it wasn't were just Were you seeking that money? Were you seeking financial uh you know, originally, in, in our original lawsuit that started four and a half years ago, that was part of our lawsuit, but that part was dismissed. We did not get the appeal on that. So, no, right. we were not able to get that, but all the other appeals went forward, and, and they did settle with us. So, so this right. is good news. Well, congratulations. Thank you, and uh, we admire Thank you. the way you st stood up for yourself. Thank you.